Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to show you some examples and the strategy for solving this kind of problem. When we say solving this kind of problem, what we're saying is we're trying to factor these trinomials. They're all in the form of x squared plus bx plus c, indicating that the coefficient in front of the x squared is simply equal to 1. Notice that we're looking for two numbers because what we want to do is we want to write it like this. We're going to have an x and an x, a plus and a plus, and now we're looking for two numbers to place in these two binomials. Notice that all of these are all positive. So in other words, there's no negative sign anywhere to be found. We're going to show you how to deal with it when we also have negative signs when we have this particular form. But in this case, notice there are positives everywhere. So we know that it's going to look like this. And in each case, we're looking for these two numbers right here. Typically, they're integers. And the way to do that is to realize the two numbers you're looking for, the product will be equal to C and the sum will be equal to B. So the strategy is that we're going to find all the products of C. What are all the possible products that we can put together to give the number C? Now in the case of number 2, there's only one option. We have 1 times 2 and that's the only option. So therefore these are the two numbers. If they add up to the middle term, which is B, then we have a winner. For example, 1 plus 2 equals 3, so therefore that is the proper combination. So we'll put down 1 and we'll put down 2. Over here, again, we're going to have something in this format, x plus, x plus. We're looking for these two numbers. So we start out by finding all the possible combinations to get a product that gives us equal to c. In this case, c is 8. The possibilities are 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So those are all the only two possibilities. Now when we take those two numbers and we add them, we should get the middle term. Now 1 plus 8 is 9, which is not correct, but 2 plus 4 is 6, which is correct, so therefore it is 2 and 4. So that's the strategy we follow. Take a look at this example. We're going to get a result that looks like this, x plus x plus, notice we can automatically assume that we have x and x because there's only a 1 in front of the x squared term, and we can assume plus and plus because everything is positive. That will change, however, when there's also negative signs. So what are the possible combinations to get 21? Well, we have 1 times 21, or we have 3 times 7. Those are the only two possibilities. The sum of the two numbers should add up to 10. Therefore, the only possibility is 3 and 7. 3 plus 7 is 10. So this is x plus 3 and x plus 7. Let's go for the next one. We have x plus, x plus. We're looking for new, two numbers. When you multiply, you get 14. That would be 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. Again, those are the only possibilities. Which combination adds up to 9? Well, 2 plus 7 adds up to 9. 1 plus 14 does not. So the only possibility is 2 and 7. Let's take a look at this number, or this polynomial, I should say, a trinomial. So x plus, x plus. So we're looking for a product that gives us 3. So 1 times 3 is the only possibility. There's no other combination of numbers that will give us 3 when we multiply. So when we add them together, that should give us 5. Well, 1 plus 3 is 4. So therefore, it cannot be done. So we, we can say cannot factor this trinomial. Sometimes they claim it's a prime, in other words, it cannot be factored. All right, our next combination, again, we should end up with something that looks like this. x plus, x plus, and the two numbers we're looking for, the product is 35, the sum is 12. So we have 1 times 35, and let's see here, we have a 5 times 7. I think those are the only possibilities. So. 1 and 35 together do, does not add up to 12, but 5 plus 7 adds up to 12, so we can factor this as x plus 5 and x plus 7. And finally here with the final example, again, we get x plus x plus. The product of two numbers that gives us 16 would be 1 times 16, 4 times 4, and 2 times 8. So in this case, there's three possibilities. Now, which of those two numbers added together gives us 10? Well, 1 plus 16 is 17, that's not it. 4 plus 4 is 8, that's not it. But 2 plus 8 is 10, that is it. So the proper factor form would be x plus 2 and x plus 8. 
When you're done and you want to check to make sure you did this correctly, what you can do is multiply them back together again and see if this is indeed you get back what you started with. So we're going to take the number of the two binomials, x plus 2 and x plus 8. So I multiply the x times the x and the x times the 8, 2 times x, 2 times 8. Let's see what we get. So x times x is x squared, x times 8 is plus 8x, 2 times x is plus 2x, and 2 times 2 is plus 16. When I combine the two middle terms, we get x squared plus 10x plus 16, which is what I started with, so therefore I know I did it correctly. And that is how it's done when we have a, a factor form of x squared plus bx plus c, or at least the trinomial of the form x squared plus bx plus c that we're trying to factor. Remember, it's all positives, and the idea is Look for two numbers. When you multiply them together, you get C. So you look for all the combinations. Then when you add the two numbers together, you should get B. And if that matches, then you have the winner. Then you have the proper way of factoring a trinomial like that. That's how it's done. And that's our kitty cat that seems to be complaining about something. I don't even... Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah. She does that sometimes.